Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And as you can see, we're going to play the FA Trophy Final. That's right, we finally got to the final of the FA Trophy. We didn't quite get there last year. Um, and it's actually the last chance of us doing so, because in other news, we were crowned champions this year. Very, very unexpected. My expectations for this season was to basically come like bottom, not bottom, but like mid table. Last episode, we saw how we were well within the playoffs for the majority of the season. Uh, I think we were third or fourth last episode. And yeah, we managed to have a really good end of season and we were crowned champions with like two or three matches to go. So that's that's really good. With that came um, basically a proposal from the board to become professional. So we are now a professional club. That kind of worries me a little bit because now we have to offer professional contracts to both our youth and our main players. And that can be the beginning of the end if we don't do something to support the finances of the club. So more on that later. We've got the transfer budget and the wage budget for next year. It's okay. It's better than we've ever had, obviously. But um, I don't think that can go a long way. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. The scouting budget hasn't been set yet, so just ignore that for now. Um, the youth intake. This is what we've got at the moment in our youth team. We were doing pretty well this season, um, only nine points behind the winner. We were actually in first, in first for a while, so uh, it's looking good for next season. I think ne next season we can probably win quite easily. Um, and the 21s, in honesty, I, I don't actually know when we get an invitation to, to the league. It might be this season, now that we are in the Sky Bet League 2. It might be next season or in future seasons if we get to... Sky Bet League 1. But at the moment, I'm not too worried about it anyway because we don't have a full squad for it yet. Uh, so that's okay. Um, yeah, let's jump into this match. So we're playing Spennymore. They finished third of the National North. So they haven't been... Yeah, they haven't been promoted. So in theory, this should be quite an easy game for us. But, you know, that's just a theory. We'll see. We are in Wembley. This match was actually brought forward a day because they wanted to put the FA Cup final in for tomorrow. But that's fine. We, we've had a whole month worth of rest between the final match for the league and this game. So our players are well rested. In fact, there are two changes in the squad. So towards the end of March, I've reevaluated the squad and found that two of our players were declining a bit. So the first of those was uh, Romeo Akinola. He was in the AMR position. And he got demoted to the under-21s. And we brought back from the under-21s Josh Epia. So he's back in the squad as, as well for just a short amount of time. And then in defence, we also saw the same thing happening with Scott Cuthberg. So he's playing today, but actually he went down to the under-21s. And we brought back from there Neil Cooney. But in the meantime, Neil Cooney picked up a long-term injury. And also the other player in that position, Nathan Cameron, has retired. So we brought back Scott Cuthberg. He was also due to retire, but postponed his retirement by about a month. So that's good. He gets to finish his career at Wembley, playing a final. How exciting is that for him? Fantastic. So yeah, quite a few changes for next season, I think. Um... As I said, £450,000. It is a, a lot of money compared to what we've had so far. But once you start to um, look into professional players, actually a decent, pl a decent player costs, what, 100 k So that's, what, four, f four players? Three, four players? So it's not a lot. It's not, it's not going to go a long way, even though it seems like a lot. And also, a lot of our players will leave, either through retirement. We've got quite a few players due to retire. We've, all, we've got also quite a lot of players on loan. Um, and, and with loans, I usually have a policy where I don't extend loans. I prefer to just let the player go and reevaluate the squad. Start with a uh, blank, uh, blank, blank canvas. Wow, words are hard. Um, and yeah, go from there for the rest of the season. 
Uh, the main reason for that is, especially when we get promoted, there's a chance that we'll get better players next season, so there's no point extending a player if we're just going to end up getting rid of them um, in the in the, in the the Battle League. Or we might be able to get that player for free um, on a contract or just a cheap tra transfer. So often these players can be picked up later on anyway. So that's okay. We've got quite a few low knees. So we've got um, Dan Davis in the left side of the fence is a low knee. We've also got Jake Grant, our main central defender, is in low knee as well. Both our strikers, so Adam Roscrow and Billy Ty are low knees, so both our strikers are going to go. Um, Luke Wilson in the midfield position is also a low knee. And then Jermaine Francis in the right side of the attack and Favour, uh, what's his surname? Favour Onukuli is also a low knee. So quite a lot of our players will will go. I'm assuming some players, if they're only contract, like non-contract based, might also decide to leave. So the squad could look quite differently next season. I'm hoping so anyway. I'm hoping I can get some better players. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm not afraid of completely redesigning a squad. I like to keep some players, but I'm, I'm not afraid of starting again. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, as far as this season, uh, yeah, it's, it's been okay. It's been better than expected. Um, especially at the beginning of the season, we started really well. I know we maintained, but we started better than I expected. Um, Jermaine Francis actually got nominated for player of the year. He didn't get it, um, but he got nominated for it. I think he started the season really well, but just didn't kind of got a, away from him towards the end. And there we go. One goal from, I believe it was Francis. And there we go. Scott Cuthbert, the captain. Final match. He's retiring. He's the captain for this match. He's at Wembley and he's won a cup. What a way to retire. And what a way for us to get promoted to the Skybet League 2 league. Fantastic way to, way to end the season. Yeah, so as far as, you know, awards, we didn't get any player awards. I got the Manager of the Year award, but that's to be expected almost all the time. Um, if a manager wins the league, it's highly likely they will get the Manager of the Year award. So that is no surprise. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, I, th I think I talked about the stadium. I can't remember now if I have or not. But yeah. Expanding that stadium is critical for our finances. I really, really hope that the board will get on board with that. Because otherwise we'll just start not being able to make back the money we invest in player wages. So we've got the FA Trophy, we've got the double. Don't worry about that, got a little bit of money with that. Uh, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. I'm going to praise him. Collective bonus, there we go. Uh, let me just check the one. Oh, they haven't updated the favourite personnel yet. I wanted to see if they would give us like the end of year thing. Where are they? There we go. This is what I was looking for. So as you can see, lots of players on loan. They will leave this 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 um this year. Uh, ba -ba -ba. obviously we made more money than ever this year. That's to be expected. Uh, Nathan Cameron, as you can see, is um retired. So that's why he's coming up and with no statistics. I'm not sure it should do that. I think that's a bit of a bug, to be honest. It should give the statistics that he had. But anyway. So, I got quite a few awards throughout the season. Got two Manager of the Month awards. Uh, Stephen Quinn broke the record of yellow cards. What we got? So, Fan Play of the Year, Jermaine Francis. Young Player of the Year, Jermaine Francis. 
Uh, signing the season, Jamie Bullock. He is actually playing in the end of 21s now. Uh, goal of the season for Bailey Ty. Top goal scorer with 24, Adam. Most assists, favor. Most player of the match awards, 10 for Jermaine Francis. Highest average rating. Jermaine Francis again, and Ryan Hansen with the most passes completed. No competition awards for our players, sadly. And there we have it. Oh, I think I just clicked by accident. Ta -ta -ta. Yeah, and there we go. So that is um, the summary for this season. I'm actually quite looking forward to um, yeah, the start of the next season. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to come back to show you the transfers, or if I'm just going to come back to show you when I finished the process of um, acquiring a new squad. But yeah, thanks so much for watching until the end. It's going really well, having lots of fun with this version of the game. S things are just going well, really, which is nice for change. Uh, so yeah, so thanks so much for the support and see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.